Want to know the simple way to make your body kill belly fat? Ever thought of fasting? This ancient practice, often associated with spiritual or cultural rituals, is making waves in the modern world for its astounding health benefits, one of which is fat burning and weight loss. Extended fasting periods, that is, voluntarily choosing not to eat or drink anything besides water for a certain duration, are not simply a fad. They are backed by science and have been popularized by the health and wellness community as an effective tool for weight loss. But how does it work? Let's delve into the science behind it. When you fast, your body undergoes several biochemical changes aimed at preserving energy and maintaining life. One of these changes is an increase in your basal metabolic rate, the number of calories your body needs to perform basic at-rest functions. This increase means your body burns more calories even when you're not working out. Fasting also alters your hormone levels, specifically insulin and leptin, two hormones that play significant roles in weight management. Insulin levels drop during fasting which facilitates fat burning, while leptin levels rise, curbing hunger, and making you feel full. This hormonal dance not only promotes weight loss, but also enhances metabolic health. And the best part? You don't have to fast for weeks to see results. Research shows that fasting for just four days can boost your basal metabolic rate and kickstart the fat burning process. So fasting isn't just about skipping meals, it's a powerful tool for weight loss and metabolic health. It's about reprogramming your body to burn fat more efficiently, improving your metabolic health and, yes, shedding those stubborn pounds. As we continue to explore the power of fasting in the next scenes, remember that every body is unique. What works for one may not work for another. So, always listen to your body and consult a healthcare professional before starting any new dietary regimen. Ever wondered about the role hormones play in weight management? Let's talk about insulin and leptin. When it comes to weight gain and loss, insulin and leptin are two key players. Think of them as the yin and yang of your body's fat control system. Insulin, produced by your pancreas, helps to regulate your blood sugar levels. When you consume food, especially carbohydrates, your body's insulin levels rise to help shuttle glucose from your blood into your cells to be used for energy. On the other hand, we have leptin. This hormone is produced by your body's fat cells and sends signals to your brain about how much fat is stored in your body. When your leptin levels are high, your brain gets the signal that you have enough energy stored and this suppresses your appetite, making you feel less hungry. But what happens when you fast? Well, your insulin levels start to fall. This decrease in insulin triggers your body to start burning fat for energy. At the same time, other hormones in your body increase during fasting. One of these is growth hormone, which helps preserve muscle mass and shifts fuel metabolism to fatty acids and away from glucose. Understanding the role of insulin and leptin is crucial in managing body weight. It's not as simple as eating less and moving more. You need to consider your body's hormonal response to food and fasting. Fasting, in particular, can be a powerful tool in managing these hormones. But remember, while fasting can be beneficial, it's not suitable for everyone. And it's always important to consult with a healthcare professional before starting any new dietary regimen. So, next time you're thinking about how to manage your weight, don't just consider the calories you're consuming. Think about the hormones at play in your body. Remember, it's not just about calories in and out. Hormones play a critical role, too. Did you know that fiber deficiency could be making you gain weight? It sounds surprising, right? But the link between fiber deficiency and weight gain is more closely related than you might think. And a lot of it has to do with the way our foods are processed. When we talk about processed foods, we're referring to those that have been significantly altered from their natural state, often to make them more appealing or longer lasting. These foods often lack fiber, a critical nutrient that plays a key role in our digestion and overall health. You see, fiber is a bit of a superstar when it comes to maintaining a healthy weight. It helps us feel full, meaning we're less likely to overeat. It also aids digestion, keeping our gut health in check and even playing a role in controlling our blood sugar levels. Yet, despite its importance, many of us aren't getting enough fiber in our diets. This deficiency can lead to a host of issues, including weight gain, Without fiber to keep us feeling satisfied, we may find ourselves reaching for more food, and often, this food is high in calories but low in nutrients. It's a vicious cycle that can be challenging to break. So, how can we fix this? The answer is straightforward. By eating a diet rich in fiber. This means including plenty of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and legumes in your meals. These foods are not only packed with fiber but also rich in other essential nutrients that support overall health. 
But remember, it's not just about adding more fiber-rich foods to your diet. It's also important to reduce your intake of processed foods. These foods may be convenient, but they're often low in fiber and high in added sugars and unhealthy fats, contributing to weight gain. To sum it up, fiber is a fundamental element of a healthy diet. It plays a pivotal role in maintaining a healthy weight and promoting overall health. So, next time you reach for a snack, make sure it's packed with fiber. Your body, and especially your waistline, will thank you. Think all protein is good for weight loss? Think again. Let's talk about protein, the macronutrient often hailed as the holy grail of weight loss. We're told to eat more of it, but is it really as straightforward as it sounds? Well, not quite. The reality is, protein isn't naturally found in pure form in our food. To get it, we need to do a fair bit of processing. Now, let's take a step back and look at nature. Whether it's a juicy steak or a handful of lentils, protein in its natural state is always mixed with other components, including fats and carbohydrates. That's right, even your lean chicken breast isn't just pure protein, it contains traces of fat and other nutrients. So, what does this mean for us? Well, it means that eating for protein can be a bit like navigating a nutritional minefield. You may think you're making a healthy choice, but without realizing it, you could be consuming additional calories from the fat content in protein-rich foods. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying you should avoid protein, far from it. Protein is crucial for repairing and building tissues, making hormones, and much more. But it's important to be aware that protein doesn't exist in isolation. It's wrapped up in a complex bundle of other nutrients that can potentially impact your weight loss goals. And here's the kicker. Consuming pure protein, stripped of its natural companions, is not only unnatural, but it's also inefficient. Your body thrives on a variety of nutrients, not just one. Overemphasizing protein at the expense of other vital nutrients could leave you feeling less than your best. So, the next time you reach for that protein bar or shake, remember it's not just about eating protein, it's about understanding what kind of protein you're consuming. Are you getting a balanced meal or are you simply loading up on processed protein and missing out on other essential nutrients? It's not just about eating protein, it's about understanding what kind of protein you're consuming. Are you ready to challenge traditional weight loss thinking? It's time to rethink weight loss and shift our focus from merely counting calories to a more comprehensive, holistic approach. Traditional weight loss methods often revolve around the concept of calories in, calories out. However, the human body is not a simple mathematical equation, but a complex biological system influenced by a myriad of factors, primarily hormones. Hormones are the master regulators of our body, controlling everything from our appetite to where we store fat. A key player in this hormonal ensemble is insulin. Insulin controls how our bodies use and store glucose and fat. When insulin levels are high, we store fat. When they're low, we burn fat. But there's another hormone at play too, leptin. Leptin acts as the satiety hormone telling our brains when we've had enough to eat. So where does type 2 diabetes fit into all this? Well, type 2 diabetes is essentially a state of insulin resistance. The body is producing insulin but the cells are not responding to it. This leads to higher levels of insulin in the bloodstream, promoting fat storage and weight gain. By focusing on improving insulin sensitivity and regulating leptin levels, we can turn our bodies into efficient fat-burning machines. This is where a holistic approach comes into play. It's not just about what we eat, but also when we eat, how we sleep, our stress levels, and our physical activity. The beauty of this approach is that it's not a one-size-fits-all. It's adaptable, customizable, and sustainable allowing you to tailor your weight loss journey to your unique needs and lifestyle. It's about understanding your body, how it functions, and working with it, rather than against it. So the next time you're planning your weight loss journey, remember this. Weight loss isn't just about cutting calories, it's about understanding your body and how it functions.